Hello and welcome to my channel. Most photographers spend most of their time trying to make sure the image is sharp, either using a fast shutter speed if you're handheld or using a tripod. Well, today we're going to do the opposite. Today we're looking at ICM, which is intentional camera movement. So we're actually looking to blur it. Now this isn't for everybody. Um, it's a bit artistic, but I think if you are a photographer, especially if you're a beginner, have a go at all types of photography. I'm really keen on landscape photography and I'm keen on street photography. They're my two main passions, but I love to have a go at other things. So I'm going to try to get three photos today. Now I'm gonna probably take a lot more than that to get the three, but I want a camera movement that is up or down, so vertical. I want a camera movement that's horizontal, side to side, and I want one that rotates. So they're the three main ones. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got a sort of feature in mind here. I've got a tree that's an evergreen tree, so like a conifer, that type of tree, um, and which gives us a little bit of colour. We've got the sun out. I don't want it too bright because I didn't bring any filters with me today and I need a slow shutter speed. So I don't want to overexpose this. Now I've got a 20, the Canon 22 millimeter pancake lens on. I like using this one for this type of photography because it's nice and light, it's nice and small and it enables me to do things with one hand without worrying too much. So I've got this on manual, let's just turn this on. So it's on manual, I've got, you want about half a second, I've got it on, well we've got it on 0.4 of a second here and f22 and that's because I didn't bring a filter. A filter would have helped me have a slightly larger aperture, but not to worry, this will still should work. So I'm going for an up and down movement, and I'm just gonna show you on the camera first what we're looking at. So let's record this. So there's the tree just there, going up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep down like this. And what I find is some people uh, when they do this they press the shutter and move at the same time but I tend to put a two second timer on because that way I can actually prepare so in my head I just count one two and then start the movement and I haven't got to worry about pressing the shutter because I've already done it so let's have a go at this one so we're on 0.4 of a second f22 ISO 100 I'm going to start at the top and press the shutter, one, two, and start the movement. Okay, you know, you've got to take a, a few to get one that you're happy with, so I'm just gonna try that again. One, two. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm gonna try this in portrait, because I think portrait might come out a bit better, so. I've got the camera up and I'm just going to sweep down after two. One, two. That's better. So what you'll see with this one is that we've, we've got the motion coming down and you can see the tree trunk. And I'm just going to try that again. See if I can get the tree trunk a bit straighter. You want to just Hold yourself steady. I know we want to blur this, but we want to keep it nice and straight. So I'm gonna come down, just twist. Here we go. One, two. Ah, much better. What you can see there is you can see the tree trunk and you can see the motion in the background. So you get that sense of movement. But the idea of this is that it's artistic. Unlike when you're trying to do um, let's say panning shots where you want to get the car or the cyclist in focus but you want the background blurred in this one it is all artistic okay so 
I'm happy with that one. We're now going to have a look around for some horizontal. Okay, what I've got here is just a log on laying on the ground. But what I like about this for this type of photography is that you've got the brown bark, then you've got some bark missing on this little bit of branch coming out here. You've got clumps of green and then brown leaves. So all of that should help with the colour. And we're going to start at this end. One, two, move on three. Okay, we'll try again. We'll try from this end. One, two, move on three. And again, one, two. Okay, we'll try it from a bit higher and we'll just try one more. One, two, twist. Okay, that's different. We'll try again. One, two, twist. And again, one, two, move. So don't forget art is in the eye of the beholder. So, uh, you know, take a few, see which ones you like, but it is how you see it. There's no right or wrong way. There's no real rules for this. Um, so just have a go at it and you, you'll be surprised what comes out. So anyway, we've got the vertical one. We've now got the horizontal one. We're going to go for the one where we twist it and have a circular one. Okay, I found my shot now for my circular one. Now when you're doing this, again, there's no real rules, but I like to sort of have a, a sort of a subject in the center so that when I'm turning the camera, um, you've got that center and then the circle and the blur around it. So what I'm choosing here as my sort of focus, if you like, is I'm on a bridle way. So down here, we've got the bridle way for the horses and ponies, and I'm using that as my centerpiece. And then I'm going to turn the camera this way. Now my advice, again, no rules here, if you started as you would normally take a picture and you try and turn it, it's quite difficult for your hand to turn. So if you start the camera, twisted the opposite way so when you press the shutter you can then bring it straight and you can get a sort of 180 degrees without straining your arm so that's what we're going to do here so let's have a go at this one so let's just try one fifth of a second right are you ready one two oh, okay i'm pretty happy with that one let me just have a another look at it what I'm trying to do is spin that so that the pathway is exactly in the centre. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. If you like the video, please give us the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing so that you don't miss future videos and I've got some really exciting stuff coming up in the next few videos so make sure you click that bell so that you get notification okay I look forward to seeing you in the next video